Hey, welcome to Weld.com. <clears throat> Not too awful long ago, we were doing a, an experiment with some MIG components, and we were running on a track torch, continuous, semi-automatic, and laying stuff down at like 27 and a half volts, and I don't know, I think it was like 290 amps. I mean, we were flat getting after it. And I started this weld. This, this whole section was like five feet long. We were doing long, continuous runs. And I started this section and I was actually watching the machine and the weld was going over here and I thought something sounded kind of funny. <laughs> I got a repair to make and it's a big one. If it was something like this side over here and it was a couple of inches, a little bit of porosity, I'd just grind it out. But I really don't feel like grinding all of that. I feel like I want to carbon art cut that, do a demonstration on how to cut that out, blend it in, uh, prep it, and I'll just run, I think I'll just fix it with 7018 just to simulate something that would blend this bead back in here in a different process. So that's a mess. And I, got, and I can assure you the gas was on, you know, that's what's weird about it, but some kind of strange reaction with the, the machine, the way it started, it, uh, it got porosity at the start and it just kept running porosity. We stopped the machine, checked everything, restarted it right here, and it was just fine again. I don't know. But anyway, I want to do this repair. So we're going to set up the carbon arc torch, blow and go on this thing, show you how to do it. Let's get to it. All righty, I got to make this repair. You saw that the, it was a lot of porosity. I don't feel like grinding it all out, so I'm going to cut it out. We have done some other videos on how to set up carbon arc gouging. If you'd like to watch those, please reference those. Uh, right now, I just want to get this, this, uh, this cut going and everything. We're going to get another shot from over my right shoulder over here. Show you how to do this. I think I'll stop there with the carbon arc and do the rest of it. I still have to hit a grinder, but I'm not, I'm not doing a bunch of heavy, heavy grinding. I just want to clean the rest of the slag out of here, make sure I have no porosity. This is coming off here fairly easy. The little porosity that I do have left is right on the surface, so I think I'll be okay. Did a lot of cutting, didn't even go through one carbon arc. We sliced across that numerous times. Main thing, it was quick to dig all that nasty porosity out of there without grinding. All righty, I got this thing cleaned up. <clears throat> and what I noticed, what I learned was Apparently I was running so high at the time, such high amperage, 27 and a half volts, that I, that porosity, even though I dug the majority of it out, 
man, it really gouged into this vertical piece right here. So I kind of, I, I was there when I cut into it with the carbon arc gouge and repaired it. I still kind of had to dig out and clean a little bit, not a whole lot, but I had to clean out a little bit with the grinder. I'm like dug in here. So I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to run off of an Everlast 200 DV. I'm going to run 532nd 7018. I've got the machine maxed out and I'm going to come in here and run my first pass here and then I'm going to come back and start building the passes up like we had done on this side. We were trying to run a complete stack. By the way, this needs one more pass in it to complete the run. So I'm going to kind of try to make the repair side look like this side. I realize we're running a different process, but whew, that baby's a little warm. All right, let me get my hood on. I'm gonna start welding. This first pass I put in there was kind of to repair that gouge that I indicated that I had to dig with the carbon arc to get the porosity out of that. And again, I was a little bit amazed that it, that it went down in far, in that far in this steel. You know, when it happened, I didn't even think it was that big of a deal. I just thought it was surface porosity. Now that I'm making this repair, I'm really glad I used the carbon arc. Uh, by the way, that rod ran pretty nice. Everlast 200 DV. I do want to get rid of one thing here. I set dig at about 20, about 30%. It ran nice. Now I can go back and start running subsequent beads to try to take care of the profile and come out of this thing like it never happened or at least come down to clean metal and make it look good. Okay, this con concludes our repair. Again, we started out with some really nasty porosity that I, I really didn't think was in there that deep. I carbon arc gouged it out. I'm glad I did because I would have been grinding for a long time. So that's another good use of carbon arc gouging is for making repairs and stuff. This one happened to be on a large fillet well. This material's three quarters of an inch thick. <clears throat> Had a couple of courses of uh, beads in here that we did with spray. I dug this out. I ran a repair pass down here because I actually dug into this top plate a little bit. I came back and I started running subsequent fill passes with the 532nd 7018 running off of an Everlast D, uh, 200 DV maxed out at 160 amps and it ran just fine. So uh, a little wavy, a little bumpy in places like right here. I was trying to pause and push the push the uh, filler wire, get the metal up in here and get that profile going. Looking down over the top of it, it you know, at least I'm down to clean metal. I don't have any porosity in here internally. So I hope you found this beneficial. Please subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Check us out on Facebook and Instagram as well.
Thanks for watching Weld.com.